Shalom. Before I get this video, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakhakwadash. Also, as well, uh, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. They continue to roll very well to this very day. That is continually feeding the flock through the Spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim El Shai. And also, as well, Shalom to the whole elect that's continually laboring his work. And I'm also do labor. To show for you do is just to make your calling and election sure and faith and truth and sincerity and also in all charity all right and uh, i haven't came up with the topic of this video as of yet um as you can see here on the screen um uh, you know brothers have posted this uh on the airways concerning uh, this recent uh outage that took place in north carolina and um you know of course before i begin you know um before i continue further should i say you know, hopefully this is uh, edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel and Lord's words are fair to the full. And also as well, uh, let this uh, be as a warning to those that are just now tuning in that, look, we don't have much time left as far as the society goes. You know, because everything that we're seeing right now is, is coming to a head. <clears throat> All the prophecies spoken about within the scriptures is, is, is coming to pass and it's not going to be very long until uh, Revelation chapter 13 verse 16 is fulfilled concerning the MOTB which we all call it but like I said Lord's will is edifying let's go ahead and get right into it so in case you didn't know uh, you know of course you got this uh, recent occurrence that took place in uh, NC and now they deem it as a target in which, you know, we, those of us that are privy to this and what's going on, we already know uh, the reason why this is happening. You know, just like uh, recently, the uh, controversy concerning the small hats. You know, there's a reason why, you know, Kanye and Kyrie are doing what they're doing. Because it's all set up. You know, everything we see right now is orchestrated. And we've been mentioning time and time again that, look, don't be surprised um, when you see another, um, you know, a major event or a major uh, false, false flag event, which is going to <clears throat> cause uh, further, a further progress concerning what these devils, the higher else of Edom, which uh, Edom is a true biblical nationality, the so-called white man, in which are particular, uh, the bankers, uh, starting with the Rothschilds. He said, don't be surprised if you see another false flag attack, you know? And uh, this is uh, one of the, these are, these are one of the things that are leading towards the, the next phase in their agenda. Because everything that have, they, they have done up to this point has uh, been done in, cert in certain, uh, in certain methods, you know, because it's all this is all a part of an algorithm, and an algorithm, you know, is it consists of certain steps that needs to be taken in order to accomplish a certain goal, and this is just a next step in their algorithm that they have set up, and you know, and, and this is not going to be the only major city that's gonna face, you know, a major blackout. Okay? Yeah, there's gonna be more cities that's gonna uh, also experience this as well. And, you know, during those times with no electricity, you know, um, you know, certain things are not powered uh, during, during that time, okay? You know, certain appliances, you know, uh, certain uh, conveniences, also, as well, uh, your food storage. Oh, uh, that's going to be turned off in the in, uh, when, in the major um, power outage. Now, imagine if it's, it's out for days, going into months, you know, going to uh, three months, you know, five months. You know, the food that's uh, in storage and things of that nature, you know, they go bad after a certain time. So. This is also going to uh, contribute to 
the other calamities and the things that Yahweh Bashan Shah has set up for this current world. So when you read the headlines, it says here, it says targeted uh, uh, North Carolina power outages could leave more than 100,000 in the dark days. So it says curfew is declared. Schools close as the FBI and state authorities join the investigation into the gun attacks on two energy substations in Moore County. Okay, and like I said, this is not going to be the only only thing that you're going to see happen on, on the planet Earth. This is not the only thing you're going to see here in America concerning you know the power grid because there's statements that, that are made that the power grid is vulnerable. It's the most vulnerable that it's ever been. When you look at the power grid for America and these cities, they're, they're fully exposed. You know, there's no there's no one guarding uh, the power grids. You know, there's no one on guard. You know, watching over. You know, who's you know uh, tampering or around the power grids. And again, and you have to ask yourself, you know, why is that? Why is there uh, no a little to no security when it comes to the power grids that are around the world? Well, around America, should I say? Well, that's because it's been orchestrated that way. It's planned out. So, and this is uh, one of the examples of that. And like I said, it's going to be more to come. Okay. But all this is uh, contributing to prophecy, you know, because it's going to come a point in time to where. Uh, these cities, these major cities like New York, Chicago, uh, Dallas, uh, San Francisco, Los Angeles, uh, Seattle, all these major cities are going to be affected in the, in the time to come. All right, it's going to be major blackouts throughout America. And like I said, this is a, a part of the agenda of the higher ups of Edom. Because this is also going to further the other people to look towards this uh, current government that is set up for assistance. And they're going to assist you, all right? Okay? They're going to assist you by um, giving you that, that, that jab jab, all right? You already know what I'm talking about. The, the, the final jab, okay? I mean, they're already cutting off certain uh, things from the people because they're not... Uh, they haven't taken a jab, you know. You know what's more when it comes to these uh, things that are about to happen on, on the, uh, here in America. You know, I say, look, if you don't have, uh, you don't have this jab, then you're not going to receive any of our support. But again, you know, I really all this is uh, going all the way back to prophecy. But that's what it's about. So I'm going to go ahead and hop into the precepts I have here. So this is the book of 2nd Ezra, uh, chapter 15. And this is at verse, uh, verse 11. Okay, it says, But I will bring them with a mighty hand, and it stretched our arm, and smite Egypt with plagues as before. All right? Now, what does it mean by smiting Egypt with plagues as before? Okay, because uh, mind you, you know, Egypt, you know, they're the, the modern-day Egypt that's over in the other side of the world, they're not a ruling power today. They don't have dominion over the whole entire planet Earth. So what is this Egypt talking about? It's talking about America. Because when you read in Revelation chapter 11, it tells you that this is the city which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. So this is the Egypt that, that it's speaking of. So it's, it's going to smite Egypt with plagues as before. And one of those major plagues that took place in the land of Egypt was uh, darkness. Among other things. Okay, and you actually uh, see that happen here in America as well. You know, certain uh, plays that, that took place in Egypt are happening here. Why? Because this is the um, this is the place of our captivity. The Lord identified this place as being uh, spiritually called Egypt, and also as well Sodom. You know, and it's no coincidence that this place is, is spiritually called Sodom in Egypt because not only does it consist of the Israelites, which are you so-called Negro, Suspense, Native Americans who are captive here, all right, just as in the days of old, 
but also as well you have the spirit of Sodom that is promoted in this current society it was you know Sodom you know uh, they were all into uh, all kinds of you know uh, uh, freakish acts you know which I'm not even going to get into and you see the same thing here in Babylon the Great which is America so again like the scriptures say it says that uh, the Lord is going to smite Egypt with plagues as before okay and it says and, and, and will destroy all the land thereof so, so ultimately this is going to lead up to the, uh, the desolation of America which is going to be brought by those the, the missiles all right, the uh, missiles that are going to be shot from one end of heaven to the other, which is going to dismantle this current kingdom physically. All right, so I'm going from there. Uh, grab this next precept. All right, this book of uh, Exodus, uh, chapter 10. Yeah, I'm going to go down just a little bit. Yeah, so this is going to all the plagues that, that took place in the land of Egypt, okay? Like I said, you know, there are certain plagues that came upon them, like locusts, all right? All the way up to the point to where the Lord sent forth the death, death angel to destroy all the firstborn of the Egyptians. So this is Exodus chapter 10, verse 21. It says, And the Lord, Yahweh, Bashmael, Shah, said unto Moses, Stretch out thine hand toward heaven that there may be darkness over the land of Egypt, even darkness which may be felt. Okay, you see that? So it says darkness which may be felt. So that's a, a, a deep, thick darkness where it feels like you can just uh, uh, reach out and touch it. That's how dark it is, man. You ever, been in a, you ever been in a dark place where there's no light whatsoever? And uh, you, you can't see anything, man. You don't even know what's in front of you. And uh, that's going to take place here in Babylon the Great. Now, this is, uh, like I showed you in the article, that's that's only one of the examples of how it's, it's going to be done. And mind you, they they have the capability of doing that. They can just, they can just say that, oh, it's a major, you know, it's, we, we're at the, it's a warning, you know, weapons as such as EMPs may be used. In any way that they can uh, uh, come with uh, with this next attack or so-called attack, and don't be surprised if you start seeing more of these things happening around America today. Like I said, it's all orchestrated. You know, it's all uh, put together and it's pre-planned for for it to happen. Because the the higher ups even want this done. They want this done yesterday. Because they are that everything that they have set up. All right. As far as the deception, everything that kept in the dark is now being exposed. And we know that it's being exposed because now you got talks of uh, Balenciaga. OK, you know, the talks of. Uh, uh, what's this place? Uh, the Bohemian Grove. And other things of that as well. So so that being exposed on a high level right now. So. What so what what kind of mode you think this man is going to be in since all his. Everything he's done in the dark is now being put to the light. Where do you, you think his mindset is at right now? His mindset right now is to get it done now. And now you're going to see more and more things happen uh, faster than before. Okay. And I'm slot. Okay. Yeah. So again, you're going to start to see more and more things happen at a more rapid pace. So, uh, Three nuts is in all the land of Egypt. Three days. That's that. That's darkness. Okay, and that, that that number three means perfection. By the way. Okay. Uh, verse uh, twenty. Uh, yeah, verse twenty-two. It says, "And Moses stretched forth his hand toward heaven, and there was a thick darkness in all the land of Egypt. Three days. Uh, they saw not one another." Neither rose any from his place for three days. But all the children of Israel had light in their dwellings. See that? And guess what? 
the Lord Yahweh Bashmel Shai. This is not out of the reach of our Lord Yahweh Bashmel Shai, who these people internally call God and Jesus. Because during these dark days, all right, the Lord is going to provide for us. All right, He's going to uh, provide for us in the in uh, times of calamity. Let's lock it. Yes, he's going to uh, provide for us and cover us in the, in these dark days, man. Okay, because he is regarded as the light, and we have that light. And it's going to be, and it's right now, it's spiritually manifest that we have the light, which is Yahweh Bashmel Shai, and it's going to be uh, physically manifest. Okay, just how having this knowledge and this truth, that in itself is spiritual power, but that's going to be amplified. And that's why you're going to see, uh, that's why the men of the Lord are going to be sought after in that day. Because we're going to have the light. All right. And this is really also a representation of uh, the Israelites, starting with the elect. That's going to be uh, covered. Just how the Lord covered the Israelites back during the time when the Lord was, was preparing to deliver us out of that land. Okay. And, um. Uh, Yeah, so that's it on that. Uh, I want to grab this last precept. up. All right. And like I said, it's all due to prophecy, man. This is uh, the scripture that, that shows you that the, 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 I want to say criticalness, but the severity of what we are coming into. Okay, this is the book of Daniel, chapter 12. It's at verse 1. And it's like it before I read it. Uh, let me get myself back in here for a second. I'll slack you. Give me one second. Okay, God. Yep, so um, this is the book of Daniel chapter 12, verse 1. It says, and at that time, shall Michael stand up. The great prince was standing for the children of thy people, right? And, and who, are, who is the representation of the children of his people? The elect of the nation of Israel. So the Lord is going to raise up uh, angels or rear up angels to uh, cover us in that day. Which is, they're going to uh, cover us at the behest of Yahweh while Yahweh Shai. And it says, and there shall be a time of trouble. So during this time of trouble, you know, the Lord is going to give us that hedge. A protection because we have trusted and stood stiffly for his name so it says and there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time and at that time thy people shall be delivered everyone that shall be found written in the book see that so um yes yeah, so like it says here it says uh it's going to be a time of trouble in which we're entering into that time of trouble right now since there never was since there was a nation okay even to that same time so all the other events that took place, like uh, what happened to us during the time of uh, uh, 70 AD onward, during the Roman onslaught, in which they uh, came up against our people, well, we about to enter the times we about to enter right now is it's not going to hold a candle to what's about to take place. These days that are coming is going to be far worse than those times. And when you read about those different uh, things that happened to us. After 70 AD, all right, it, those things were horrific. But imagine now how even more horrific it's going to be. And it says, Thy people shall be delivered. Who are the people of the Lord? The Israelites, starting with the elect. But specifically, it says, Everyone that shall be found written in the book. And what's that book? The book of life. So, are certain uh, Israelites that are found written? In the book of life that's going to be preserved from the said perils, like the scriptures say. And guess what? Uh, the majority of the men that you see, and I say majority because you know you got agents, you know, here in uh, Great Millstone, of course, we already know that, and the Lord's going to find them out soon. But uh, those that are the majority of, of uh, us that's in Great Millstone, you know, which I'm saying is through the Spirit, you know, we're, we are found written in that book of life. You know, because the, the main thing now is to endure and continue to endure until our Lord returns, who is Yahweh Shai, to come back and to uh, 
save us from the hands of our enemies. So I'm going to go ahead and close out on that note. In our Lord's will is edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel. You know, again, you know, stay, stay alert. You know, stay up because, uh, you know, this, this devil is moving, man. So once again, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Ba'ashim Yahushai, Ba'ashim Rokhaku Dash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and Rewells of this day. And also our Shalom, peace and safety, and salutations to the hopeful elect, continuing to labor in his work, and labor to show for your diligence to make your calling election sure, and faith, and truth and sincerity, and also in our charity. And with that, bless the Shalom.